Mother when it says have. mom on it, that means you just make it up as you go. All right. Are you already tired? Are you ready to go to Houston? Look at that face. Born ready. You know, they had uh, stories about everything. The fact Hey guys, it's Saturday and I'm in Houston. I'm in my parents' backyard. It might be a little too windy for me to be talking to you guys out here. I hope it's not. Uh, I'm wearing my glasses because for some reason I woke up this morning and my eye was all red and it looked a little off. So I didn't want to risk wearing my contacts. All the birds are chirping. I feel like Snow White over here. Uh, I'm just here for the weekend because Grant is in Charleston with his brother for his bachelor party. So he's having a good time up there and so I decided to take the chance to come and hang out with my fam and I think we're about to go get a pedicure. It's needed. Ooh, look at this garden my mom has. Oh, these are her tomatoes the birds got and she will not forgive them. They don't eat them. They like them fresh on the vine. I know. My mom is a master gardener. No. She does not think she's a master gardener, but she is. So what all you have? You have tomatoes, peppers. Yeah. These are pickling cucumbers. Luna, get out of there. Luna, get out. Get out of there. It was just I've got the English ones back oh. here. Wow. It's on its way out, mom. Yes. So tall. They're taller than my mom. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow, my little basil plant isn't anything like. Look at what she's doing, mom. Look at her. <laughs> You're going to get really dirty. Stop, Luna. I'll have to clean her off. Stop, Luna. No more. Come on, Luna. Like a real dog. She's like a little pig in a pen. Luna, come on. Come on, that's not why we're out here. Come on, come on. I've never seen her do that in the dirt. Wow, you are a real dog. I love these. They are like neon. No more, Luna. She's, she's getting in there. Aren't these beautiful? They're like neon pink. Like the color that looks amazing on your toes in the summer when you have a tan. My mom said somebody came back to help her out with something in her backyard and told her that she had a Pinterest backyard and she couldn't believe it. And I was like, mom, come on. It's amazing. I think it's actually too bright on the camera so you can't totally see. It looks great, Mom. She was just walking around telling me about everything she's going to change in her backyard because apparently it's all dead. <laughs> all right, we're about to get crazy. Choose something totally out of the ordinary. Which one will it be? My mom's signature color. How long did you say you've been using this color? Years. Years. How many years? What is it called? Melon of I Troy. Had that ten years old. Ten years. <laughs> So again, my mom is cooking the day away. You know how she is. And you guys love to see her cooking. So do I, especially when I get to eat it. Uh, and she's just about to show me how to make her jalapeno cornbread, which is amazing. It is so good. Honestly, cornbread is not always my favorite thing generally, but this cornbread, it's a whole different thing. And it is so good. And I've never made it before. And we're about to make it. Oh, here we go. Here's the actual recipe called Mother's Mexican Cornbread. This looks like it's been through something, maybe a fire. <laughs> oh, see, I used to have this little corkboard recipe holder in my kitchen. Oh. So whenever I would cook something, I'd just stick it on that, you see all the holes? Then, if you had seen the chocolate uh, frosting, it is literally riddled with holes. <laughs> Where was the corkboard? I don't remember that. Well, it was before you were born. So this has been around since before I was born? Oh, yeah. 
your handwriting really hasn't changed since before I was born. Well, now the other recipe, I wrote it in high school. The chocolate frosting? Mm -hmm. Is it the same chocolate frosting that you did for this cake? Uh, it is. <laughs> wow, and I can tell you her chocolate cake is the best <laughs> chocolate cake ever. So here are our ingredients. Okay, basically you just have to mix everything up. Once you get it all mixed, you wanna put it in the pan and put it in the oven. Okay. You put some Crisco in your iron skillet and you get it hot, not on fire, but on hot. <laughs> and then you pour the cornbread batter and that gives it that nice crispy crust. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's perfectly crispy on the outside <laughs> and it's like extremely moist. It's way more moist than your normal cornbread. Yeah, because I mean it has corn and stuff it's, in it. It's better to me. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, the whole thing? I like it. I like it. That's a lot of color. You've had it before. I don't think I've ever had it. It's so good. Good for me. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get too hot. Just make sure you get that bar if it's not that deep bowl. It wants to kind of clean the bar. Okay, mm -hmm. are we ready? Yeah, go ahead and pour it in. You want to sizzle. It'll take about 20 minutes. This on this recipe, it doesn't even say how long to bake it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's implied. You're supposed to know. Mm -hmm. Well, it says mother, so you just kind of infer everything. <laughs> mother. When it says have. mom on it, that means you just make it up as you go. They don't ever have full instructions. It's because she cooks by ear. You just gotta listen. So who gave you this recipe? Your mom? Uh huh. I just totally assumed it was like, that was like the name of it. No, yeah, this is actual mom's. Too. No, it was my mother's. Aww. Mother's. So yes. this is grandmother's Mexican cornbread for me. <laughs> this is our lovely camera woman. Thank you so much. It's our side hustle now, officially. <laughs> Been trying to figure it out. <laughs> Her actual side hustle are these cookies right here. They are so good. She perfected this chocolate chip cookie recipe and they're so soft. Oh. All right, there we got. The chicken is done. Hello. Okay, it's ready. It's ready. There it is. Bloop. There it is. But now if you want it to be pretty, you gotta turn it over something. Uh-oh. And it's really hot. Hands of steel. <laughs> you just cut it like a pie. It's delish. Thank you. Hello. Oh, what is this? What is this? Yeah. All right, so it's Sunday. We're back from church and lunch, and I've just been chatting with my parents. Look at my mom's cute outfit. We somehow both went polka dots today. My mom just got in some of the bridal portraits that she ordered, and you're happy with them, right? Yeah. Because my mom has like a whole wall of my sister's, well, just a lot of pictures of us really on the stairs and she has both of their bridal portraits up there and so she wanted to add mine too. I think it turned out really good. I loved Cotton Collective. I think they did such a good job. Uh, so we did this shoot, I don't know, I guess it was weeks before the wedding. Mm -hmm. We had had the, all, the, all the mess of the tailoring of the dress and I finally had it back and we did the hair and makeup trial that day and I had my bouquet, like an extra bouquet, and I was wearing my mom's jewelry. And we were back up in like this kind of warehouse studio space. I really, really liked it. I don't think my mom was crazy about it because <laughs> it was just all white and boring, but I, I love how it turned out. But I guess, I don't know, we had too many that we liked really. This is one of my favorite. I 
She thought it was a pouty mouth, but I think it's pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, we, when we were picking out the favorites, my mom liked this one, and I thought that my face looked a little too sassy. Like, oh, yeah, I'm so happy, you know? <laughs> but you have the jacket on, and this one, I love the eyes. Yeah, I just love the jacket. I almost wish I wore it longer. Yeah, I really love pretty. the jacket. Yeah. I almost like the dress better with the jacket. Oh, sorry, pretty. It might very yeah. Is it bigger than you thought? I think what I'm going to do is move some hair out of that lower section down and put it in the middle of that area. See, that's the Hall of Fame up there. <laughs> that's all of us. Mary, Kristen, there I am. I was about like, I don't know, 15 years old. Look at me. They like airbrushed this picture to death. This was when I graduated college and my face just looks like a painting. This is the cutest picture. What year would you say this is, like 85? She was probably two. Only two? So we just walked back to get another photo oh album. Gosh. Mom, it is, <laughs> my mom just, my Virgo mother just said, don't show the world. <laughs> Look at all these Barbie stuff. Like this is all our little stuff. Look, this is the thing that just made me turn on the camera. This Disney castle back here. I don't want to start an avalanche, but this, it's all these little Disney characters. Oh my gosh. I, okay. So this has been an idea I've had for so long to get into this closet and go through all of these old toys. Cause I actually follow accounts on Instagram that are like eighties toys and stuff. And people are so like nostalgic about it. And I mean, I love looking at it, but like, this is a this. collection of eighties toys. Basketball toy we'll that I guess you can. I know I'm about to reveal. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is like from I don't know, like Taco Bell. It literally mm. says Taco Bell. But look at the other side. Leanne, mine. <laughs> I was a sweet kid. <laughs> Recording. Do you remember the little wooden train set? Yes, it's so cute, and it was magnetic. I kept thinking I'd have grandkids to play with all these. Stars. You're gonna have a grandkid any day now. <laughs> Look at that one. That one was Kristen. So that was a Barbie bed. Oh my gosh, I want to go through all of it. Look at that Barbie boot. The this bar. is not my mother's fault. I'll just have that on the record. It's our fault because we never came and cleaned it out. Mm -hmm. Other little kids, cousins' kids, and everything have come in, and they play with the toys when they come. And then, oh my gosh, y'all, this is everything. This is one of my first Polly Pockets I ever had, or might have even been Mary's. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one was like, once they got fancy. Oh my gosh. Still in there, the yep. babies. <laughs> it's like a chef, and one of them's a waitress, and the other one looks like she's holding a piece of chalk, maybe. We got all the little golden books. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably totally not interested in this, but I love it. It's very interesting to me. One day I will do the video about this whole closet. Everything going on in here. If for nothing else but just yeah, for I me. Mean, we all come back and do it. Yeah, so that would be so it. fun. <laughs> yeah. It would be so fun. She says I want to get rid of everything, but in reality, I still have it all. Yes, she keeps it. She wants <laughs> us to clean it out, but she hasn't made us clean it out. I don't know why I'm so orange right now. Anyway, it's about time for me to pack up my stuff, and I've got to go pick up Grant from the airport. So I just got back home in Dallas. I actually came here instead of picking up Grant from the airport because his flight was delayed twice, 40 minutes. So I just needed to come back here. And then once I got here, I realized the power's off because, and I didn't know this earlier when I was in Houston or before I set out on the drive, which the drive was rough because there was a bunch of storms. It was really, really intense, and uh, but it was fine. I got through it. Um, I didn't know, but there were really, really horrible storms in Dallas today. I need to like check the Facebook page and figure out if the power is off everywhere. I'm about to jump in the car and go pick him up. I'm so hot right now. Like it, being in the house for like 10 minutes, I'm already just sweating and disgusting. <sighs> okay. I'm sure after your flight getting delayed twice and sitting on the plane forever, you don't want to hear that the power is off at your house, but that's what's about to happen, unfortunately. You ready to go, Lenny Bean? 
Okay, is it just me or parking garage lighting is the best? I love it. It's always so flattering and like moody. It's like kind of cuts my head off right here. But anyway, I am at the airport and Grant is still stuck on the plane. I can only imagine how frustrating that situation is. And uh, I talked to him on the phone for a little bit and I let him know, um, I talked to the neighbors as I was heading out to come here and they said the power had been out for like three or four hours and they had heard that the power is gonna stay off until tomorrow night. I feel like the power companies usually like give you a very generous window so you don't get your hopes up too high. Um, and so maybe it'll come on earlier, but I think that we might just grab our stuff and go stay somewhere tonight. I'm not really sure. We're gonna get together and see what happens. It'll be okay, it'll be fine. I'm glad that the storms have passed and everything's okay now. Um, I saw that there's some news that a crane actually fell downtown and someone was killed. I, I didn't uh, actually get to, I haven't had a second to even like look at a whole article about it, but Grant mentioned it and I looked it up and I saw some headlines, but that is just so, that is so terrifying. I, uh, that's, I had never even thought of that as a possibility, but you know, they have like huge, like building sized cranes and it fell into a building. Um, it's just like, ugh. definitely minimizes any slight inconveniences we have today because of the weather and because of the power being out and everything. Um, I am really, really excited to see Grant we haven't been apart very much in our marriage. As far as I can remember, I think that we've only been apart for like one weekend before, and so this is our second weekend apart, big deal. Um, but I miss him a lot. He actually left on Thursday, and you know, I stayed home and I was like recording and doing my normal schedule, and then went to my parents on uh, Friday. And I didn't really vlog on Friday, I don't know why, I guess I was just really tired. Um, haven't gotten to ramble with you guys very much this vlog just because I've been with my parents and hanging out with them and everything and that's always so much fun and <sighs> I feel so tired and out of it I can't even ramble for you guys right now that drive I guess it just kind of zapped all my energy and yeah that drive is not that bad it's about like three and a half uh, sometimes up to four hours to do the drive from Houston to Dallas but it goes by so much better with another person or if you can switch off driving that is a very nice but as usual podcast save the day uh, I was listening to episodes that I've missed from the patreon of true crime obsessed um, but they did a series called Lorena and I had never heard of this series or the movie or the documentary or anything and I listened to the first episode and I was like what are this and then I realized that it was actually a show that's on Amazon Prime I'd never heard about it and I want to watch it so I'm putting that on pause I'm putting those episodes on the back burner so I can actually watch the show and then come back to it if you haven't heard about it the series is called Lorena it's about Lorena and John Bobbitt and this is a whole thing that went down in like 1993 I was a very small child. I did not know what was going on. I feel like maybe I heard like pop culture things about this, but I was just too little to be like in the loop on this kind of thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'll tell you anyways. Basically, there was a situation between a husband and a wife and a lot of stuff went down and she ended up cutting off his penis. <laughs> I feel it became like a big 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 thing like pop culture wise because of course like everyone finds that like very interesting and crazy and they want to know more about it and it's like finally the man got what he deserves and all the guys are like no this is the worst possible thing that could ever happen to any person ever <laughs> so everyone's interested for different reasons I didn't really know much about this so I'm interested I'm definitely watching the show oh hello Grantaroni hello I hate to keep you out there just sitting in the parking lot um because I mean it could be if we don't really know it could be another hour all right we just ran home I packed my suitcase again after packing it so fast whenever I came back and it was all hot in here. And it's just slowly getting darker and darker and darker in here and we're trying to get everything sorted out 
and get out and go back on the road. And this is actually a big day for Miss Luna Bean because she's never stayed at a hotel before. I've always wanted to take her, but she's kind of, let, let's be real, she's kind of bad. So, look, I got my man's back. <laughs> it was excellent lighting. Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> I feel like I just picked him up from camp. So he's all like, oh, all these stories and everything. He had a good time. I know, I'm just vlogging in the dark. This is the new quality of this channel. It's going great. All right, Miss Bean, you're here. How do you feel? You're a hotel dog now. Hey, let me get that leash, girl. Grant carried her in. <laughs> let me see, let me get it. Of course, my camera just died. This day could not go more off track than it already has, but I feel like we're about to have a strong finish with some Whataburger and watching Big Little Lies. I have not eaten since 11 o'clock this morning and that is so rare for me. Like, I cannot exist this way. So I just need to not even talk to a camera right now. <laughs> Looney Bean's having a blast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you don't love it? Did you miss me? <laughs> So far, Luna has not been a very good hotel patron. Come here. It's not that she's bad. She's just got a lot to say. And it's not that she's like barking because she's angry. It's like sometimes she barks and I don't even realize how much she barks because she barks because it's almost like she's talking. It's like she's, yeah. it's part of her playing. It'll be okay though. It's not that bad. I'm just overly nervous about it because we've never done this before. How you doing, girl? Oh. There she goes. <laughs> Hopefully our power is turned on in the morning. I think it will be. That's it for this weekend. I'm sure everything's gonna turn around real quickly for any of my Dallas or Dallas area people. I hope you're good. I hope you're working it out. And I'll see you next weekend. Thanks, I love you, bye. I want to hear everything.